Hello and welcome back to IXL tutorial videos. This is Mr. Duffick and today we will be doing IXL S8 which is finding the area of what is called compound figures. So compound figures is just uh, a figure like this or a shape that is made up of several shapes. If you ever have heard the word compound before, it just kind of means stacking on top of each other or a combination of certain things. Um, so here you're going to see a shape and immediately you see this shape isn't like uh, any of the basic shapes we've seen like a triangle or a square or a rectangle or anything like that so what you're going to do to find the area of compound figures or shapes is you're going to essentially cut them into pieces and find the area of those smaller pieces and let me show you what i mean here okay so immediately you look at the shape and go, okay, well, there's a couple different places I can probably cut it and therefore uh, be able to find the area of. So uh, there's not necessarily one correct way to do it. Uh, you can just kind of look and figure out what the best path is. For me, I will look and I will go, hmm, well, it looks like I can draw a line here and basically cut this, right? So now we've cut it into two different rectangles. And when you do this, what you want to do is you want to uh, basically change your dimensions so they're accurate. So here uh, we have a height of two inches and therefore this height is also going to be two inches. This length is nine and this length is also going to be nine. And since eight inches was the entire side here and we're taking two of them out, we're going to just kind of erase that and write six. And that way we know that this side is equal to this side, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Okay. So then we'll make this shape one. We'll make this shape two. Or maybe if it's less confusing, since we're already dealing with a lot of numbers, let's do letters. So we'll make this shape A and this shape B. So we'll do shape A first. The area of a rectangle we know is just base times height. Base times height. Um, so the base is going to be 17 and whether you want to look at the top or the bottom, it's going to be 17, right? It's a uh, rectangle. You can see 17 here, or you can see eight plus nine, 17. So we'll do 17 inches times H, our height is going to be six, no matter where you see it. So we'll have six inches. Okay. So 17 times six is going to equal 102 inches and squared. Remember the units for area are uh, units squared. And you can kind of see it up here. When we have 17 inches and 16, or six inches, we multiply the 17 and the six, but we also multiply the inches from the inches. So anything times itself is just, it, it's squared, right? So inches times inches is just inches squared. So that's how we get the inches squared uh, measure uh, or a unit right there. Okay, so that's A. Now we'll move on to shape B. Same deal, we have a rectangle here, which will be base times height. Okay, the base is gonna be nine inches times our height of two inches. Nine times two is just 18 and then inches squared. Great. All right, now the last step here is just to add both of those areas together. So we're gonna go 102 inches squared plus 18 inches squared is going to equal 120 inches squared. And that is going to be the area of the entire compound figure right there, 100. 20 inches squared. So we'll go back here. We have uh, the units here already square inches. So we'll just type in 120. And that is correct. Okay. This problem um, I can also do. It's the same type of problem except they just add a few more square or rectangle type uh, components to it. So we'll look um, at each of these shapes and we'll just kind of cut out what looks good to us. Immediately I see this looks like a square, so I'm going to draw a line here and cut it off and draw a four, so that's a square. 
Uh, and then I'm going to draw another line here to cut off another square, because again, squares are easy, right? And then we're just left with this rectangle with a height of six, right? Which matches with over here. And then uh, with a length of 10, right? Or uh, a base of 10. So two plus eight is 10 or two plus four plus four is 10. So either way, this entire thing is gonna be 10. Let's write 10 right there, why not? Okay, so we have three different shapes here. I'll write shape A, then shape B, and then shape C, and we'll do A first. So A is a square, which is just base times height. Okay, so the base is four kilometers times our height of four kilometers. And that's going to equal 16 kilometers squared. Okay, shape one is done. Second shape, shape B is going to be, uh, again, another rectangle, so base times height. The base is going to be 10, right? It's gonna be 10, or two plus four plus four, which is 10. So we have 10 kilometers times the height. The height is six. So we have six kilometers. And so 10 times six is just 60 kilometers squared. Perfect. Last little shape here, shape C is another square, which is base times height, easy, easy, which is going to be two kilometers times two kilometers. Two times two is four, so we have four kilometers squared. Okay, now we're gonna add all of them together. So we have 16 kilometers squared plus 60 kilometers squared plus four kilometers squared. 60, or 16 plus 60 is 76 and 76 plus four is 80. So our answer is gonna be 80 kilometers squared. So the entire shape has an area of 80 kilometers squared. All right, come over here, we just type in 80. And that is correct, okay? Problem just like this, so I'll skip it. Okay, here's a uh, different one. So not only are you gonna see compound shapes with uh, components that look like squares and rectangles, you're gonna see other shapes too. And uh, the first of these shapes is going to be a triangle as you can kind of see here, right? So you can see that this one has kind of a point that's very clearly a triangle. So we will pretty much immediately cut out this triangle as best as I can here. Okay, that's gonna be a triangle. And the triangle is gonna have a base of, well, we'll find out in a little bit. Let's cut out some other pieces first. So first, uh, we're gonna cut this piece out right here. Okay, so we have a rectangle. That way we know this uh, base is six, the height is two, therefore this height is two. And since this entire space here is nine, that means what we have left over here is three. And what we have left over here, of course, is six, right? Base is already six, we knew that. So this uh, distance right here is six, this distance right here is three, good. And then what else can we cut out? Uh, we can cut out, let's try the square right here. Not a square, it's almost a square. Uh, with the height of five and the base of six, so this is gonna be five right here, this is gonna be six. And then since this entire side was 12 and we just cut five of it out, that means the height uh, from this point to this point is seven. And because we can cut two out, right? Because the sides of the rectangle here are two. That means what we have left here is five. So five plus two plus five equals our original 12, right? Okay, so now we have all of our dimensions. We have our dimensions um, for our rectangle here, our rectangle here, uh, our rectangle here, and let's just write down the last of our dimensions for the triangle. So we see it has a height of five, and then for the base here, it's going to be from this point to this point is six, 
And then from this point to this point is three, so six plus three is nine, so the base is gonna be nine. Okay, so now let us find all of our areas. So I'll say the triangle is shape A, followed by shape B, followed by C, followed by D. Okay, we'll start with A. Okay, so the area of a triangle, remember, is one half base times height, or base times height over two is what my students like to say. So the base of our triangle, again, is gonna be nine uh, centimeters times the height, which is five, so five centimeters, and then over two which equals 45 over two centimeters squared, which you can boil down a little bit uh, better to 22.5 centimeters squared. Either one works, but for these kinds of problems, you probably want to uh, divide the two out like that. Okay, now we'll go to B. B is a normal rectangle, so base times height. The base looks like for this entire rectangle is uh, nine centimeters times our height of two centimeters. Nine times two is 18, so it's gonna be 18 centimeters squared. Good. Down to C. C, we have another rectangle, so it's gonna be base times height. The base is six centimeters, so six centimeters times our height of five centimeters. Six times five is 30, so we just have 30 centimeters squared. And D, our last shape here, is going to be another rectangle, so base times height. Our base is going to be six, so six centimeters times the height is two. That is going to be uh, two centimeters equals six times two is 12. So we'll do 12 centimeters squared. Okay, last step. Now we just have to add all four of these areas together. So we're gonna have 22.5 centimeters squared plus 18 centimeters squared plus 30 centimeters squared plus 12 centimeters squared and all of that is going to equal what well 18 plus 12 is 30 30 plus 30 is 60 and 60 plus 22.5 is 82.5 centimeters squared okay so the area of the entire thing should be 82.5 we're going to Type that in, 82.5. Good work. Okay. Uh, similar problem here. You'll just go all the way up here and do the triangle and divide it out. Good. And the second shape you're going to see is a circle or half circle or quarter circle. Either way, you're going to see some uh, figures that have certain elements of a circle in it. So this will likely be the last problem I do here. and then the rest of it you should be able to do. Okay, so we'll start cutting things into pieces, but first we see we have a circular feature and we're gonna focus on that. So we're gonna cut it out right here. Okay, and when we do that, it makes it a lot clearer uh, or more clear to see that we really have a rectangle here, a rectangle here and a quarter of a circle there. So uh, I'm just gonna draw the line right here to illustrate that. Okay, so we have a rectangle, rectangle, and quarter of a circle. So um, you can think of this as a large circle, right? And so we can still find the area of the circle, but we only want a fourth of a circle. So we're just gonna divide that area uh, of the entire circle by four here. So I'm just gonna already uh, write these out, so shape A, shape B, and shape C, okay? Um, what I will write down too is, uh, remember the radius of a circle is gonna be the same no matter where you are, so if the radius of a circle here is 12, you know, assuming this is the center, that means the radius here is also going to be 12, okay? 
And what you could also do is you could go up here and you can see the distance between this point and this point is really the distance between here and here, which is eight, and then here and here, which is four, right? So eight plus four is 12, whatever you wanna do. And so we'll do shape A right here. A is gonna be base times height because it is a rectangle. The base is eight kilometers times our height of six kilometers, which is gonna equal 48 kilometers. Okay, go down to B. Um, B is going to have a, as see, base times height. B is gonna have a base of, let's see, seven plus 12 is 19, or seven plus eight plus four is 19, either way, doesn't matter. So we'll do 19 kilometers times our height. The height is gonna be seven for that rectangle. So seven kilometers, okay. So 19 times seven is going to be one, let's see, 133, I believe. Okay, a kilometer squared, squared up here as well. And then we'll do C. So uh, remember the area of a circle is pi r squared. Okay, because we want to find the area of the entire circle, but we really just want a quarter of the circle, right? A fourth of the circle. So we're just going to divide that by four. Okay, and this is what we're going to use. So from there, we'll do 3.14 because it says use 3.14 for pi times our radius squared. So our radius we said was 12. So we're going to do 12 squared. And then of course, divide everything by four. And I certainly will use a calculator for this because of the decimals. Let's get that up real quick. Okay, so we have 3.14 times 12 times 12, or 12 squared, divided by 4, and that is going to equal 113.04. And then, of course, kilometers squared. Okay, so now we're going to add all three of them together. So we have 48 kilometers squared plus 133 kilometers squared plus, plus 113.04 kilometers squared. And I'm going to pull my calculator up again. So we're going to do 48 plus 133 plus 113.04. And that is going to equal 294.04 kilometers squared. All right, so 294.04, so do 294.04 